shot twice and left to die. The Snohomish County man is recovering in an Everett hospital while the man who pulled the trigger is a free man. The guy who was shot is accused of trying to steal scrap metal, but his friends and family say they don't believe it. His girlfriend telling me there's serious questions about how Johnny Fulcher was shot last week. Two shots above the legs into this, to me, that's to kill. He's, he's got fight in him, you know? Um, if he knew what, how people were talking and saying, you know how crushed his heart would be because they don't know him because he's not that. Upstairs on a ventilator, Johnny Fulcher is struggling. His girlfriend of 12 years tells me he's on his fifth surgery after two bullets tore through his body, one narrowly missing his heart. He's scared when he wakes up, like scared. Never seen it before like this. Initial information indicated that Johnny was in this area near Wallace Falls State Park. The address given by investigators for the shooter just off of state land. There's a few homes in the area, though deputies haven't said exactly where or which home the shooting took place near. But they did right. Quote, a 65-year-old man was walking his dog when he observed a victim stealing scrap metal from his property. He confronted the man and a physical altercation occurred. The 65-year-old property owner fired two rounds. Dude, nothing adds up. Nothing adds up at all. Stacia tells me Johnny was bleeding out but managed to drive his car roughly a mile away to get help. When found, she says he had a bucket of moral mushrooms in the car. According to her, that is why he was there. Friends claim he'd been talking about it since the day before. Now, a sheriff's spokesperson tells me they are still investigating here, but they couldn't say much more. Initial information said that Johnny suffered non-life-threatening injuries, but I'm told he remains in critical condition tonight. In fact, it's unclear what his recovery will even look like.